Hi guys! I was asked what colour pro markers I would recommend for blonde hair, so I decided to make a video to show the various colour combinations that I use. Um, I'm not actually a big fan of pro markers, wherever possible I always try to use the flex markers instead. They blend the colours so much better, because um, they've, they've got that soft brush nib to them. Uh, with the pro markers you tend to end up with very hard solid lines, if you're not familiar with Pro Markers, then the closest comparison would be the Copic Original Markers. They share that same kind of hard nib. Um, anyway, I always uh, try to recommend the Flex Markers to everyone, because they're so much better for like skin and hair. Uh, most of the colours I use in this video you can get as both Pro Marker and Flex Marker, um, with the exception of Lemon Chiffon, Champagne, Cappuccino and Soft Kahaki. I'm not too sure if I said that Soft Kahaki one right, but Anyway, I'll run through the colours I use for each picture at the end of the video. I just put the speed paint up so you wouldn't get bored of me talking at you. Um, these are all colour combinations that I've used before. Almost all of them have been used in my speed paint videos at some point. So, anyway, we've got a standard blonde that I did first. Uh, a slightly orangier blonde. Uh, and then I did an ivory blonde that you can see I just finished in the picture. Uh, and then I did like a darker ivory blonde, um, used like lots of cool greys for that one just to darken it up a bit. Uh, and then I did a greeny blonde, which for some reason doesn't show up very well on my webcam. Uh, just take my word for it that it looks more more of a greeny yellow than a kind of, I don't know, a yellowy, orangey yellow. Um, and then I did a pale blonde, which you'll see in a minute. Uh, that one isn't actually in any of my speed paint videos at the moment. I use it mostly for my own characters. Uh, but it's actually really good, that pale one. Um, and then I did a sandy mousy blonde, which I actually use for my crazy comic lady character quite a lot because it kind of suits my hair colour. Um, and then I actually ran out of blonde shades to use, so I randomly shoved a pink one in at the end. Um, just because I had a, an empty an empty girl that needed some hair. Uh, the colour that seems to get used the most um, is always sandstone. It's really good at darkening areas without going overboard. Um, it's used in almost every one of the colour combinations here, so I'd really recommend sandstone. Um, and then buck, buttercup as the two must-have colours for blonde hair. Um, after that, just experiment and, and kind of just see what works for you, really. Uh, and that's that's about it. Yeah, so it's just me colouring my little pink haired girl now. Uh, and then I'll run through all the colours that I did during this video. Oh, and if you stay tuned at the very end of the video, I put a special extra little mini speed paint in at the end. Just uh, of the original line art of this little character. So something for you to look forward to in the minute when I eventually stop talking at you. Okay, so you should see all my girls together there, all done, um, with all the different colour combinations. Uh, the first one was Primrose, Buttercup, Pastel Yellow, Soft Kahaki and Sandstone. Uh, the second one, the orangey blonde girl, was Buttercup, Pastel Yellow, Mustard and then Sandstone. The third one, the ivory blonde girl, was ivory, vanilla, champagne, and then sandstone. Uh, the fourth one was ivory, champagne, sandstone, and then cool grey. Uh, I'm not sure exactly which cool greys I use, just pick a handful, it'll turn out okay. Um, greeny blonde girl was lemon chiffon, soft lime, pale citrus, and seed and then soft kahaki, and then I put an extra bit of sandstone in as well, just at the end. I wasn't sure if it really needed it or not, but I did it anyway. Um, and then number six was the pale blonde girl, and that was lemon chiffon, primrose, buttercup, and pastel yellow. Uh, number seven was the mousy blonde, which was buttercup, sandstone, and cappuccino. Really, you could have I could have put like a different colour in there as well, just to darken bits up, but it kind of works without it. Um, and then the last one, the pink girl, was pale blossom, uh, regular blossom, and then rose pink. 
Um, anyway, I hope this was kind of useful for you and that you've got a better idea of what colour combinations you might want to use in your own pictures. Um, thank you for watching and enjoy the speed paint video which is up next.